Hello, and how art thou today? So I got something very exciting in store today. I decided to check out a new company called Unicorn Cosmetics. I believe they're based in the UK, because that's where my package came from. And it's, again, like vegan, cruelty-free, and I decided I wanted to do something a little bit different. I decided it would be really exciting to try out companies and show you guys companies that are smaller and that maybe you haven't heard of, or just like aren't as well known. But I found this company randomly on Instagram. Basically, I got a mystery box. It They don't tell you what comes in it. This is something I'm hoping to do with other brands, like other smaller brands, is get a mystery box. That way like you get a little taste of different items that they have. This specific company started out as an eyelash company, but then they started doing cosmetics. And so what I'm gonna be doing today is opening it, showing you what I got, and trying to use what I can from the box, from what I got from them, so I can give you an idea of, you know, how well it works for me and like quality, all that good stuff. And then in the future, when I do other ones, I can do the same thing. So I'll do a makeup look with what I can with what I got, and then just sort of use any of my other stuff for the rest of what they don't have, like foundation, concealer, that kind of thing. Let's get into it. Gonna, I don't wanna. Mm. <gasps> Wait, I have to... Okay, so the first thing I see when I open this, look at... So cute! Oh my god! I'm keeping this box. <gasps> I just got a donut! <gasps> That's so cute! So yeah, there's the Unicorn Cosmetics. <gasps> Oh my god. I am literally obsessed with that. Look at that. Oh my god. Okay. Ooh. Only me. Okay. Oh my god. This is so cute. Okay. First thing I'm gonna open. Oh my god. These are so... <gasps> Look at this. This is so cute. This little... I love it. Okay. E. Okay, this is great. So they gave me brushes, which I'll show you a better view of it in a second. But they also gave this little cheat sheet of how to use it. It's a seven-piece complete eye brush set. And yeah, they have the names of each. So let me see if I can figure it out. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, it's like, it's like a unicorn horn. It's so cute. So it's like this beautiful like purple iridescent, is that the word? But it's very pretty and like, let me see if I can get closer. So even like the bristles are like super colorful. I tr I'll try to like put in pictures of everything so you can actually see it better. So that's the brushes. They're so cute. Like, I love this idea. Like they're they feel very sturdy and like the bristles, like everything is soft, but they feel well packed where it's not gonna just like make a mess, you know what I mean? First thing that came in, this mystery box. I love it. Super excited to use those. And I'm gonna keep the cheat sheet in there because <laughs> Lord knows I need it. Okay, so I got a few different eyelashes, which I'm kind of scared of because as you know, <laughs> I'm not good with eyelashes, <laughs> but these are really pretty. So let's see what we got. These are, they are not all the same. They have the names on them. Oh, cute. <laughs> That's the back of them. Here's the front. This is the first one by Mel Blue. Don't know if any of these come with glue because I don't own any glue. We'll find out. These are all really cute. So this is the first pair. This is the second one, and the third one. I really like all of these. I don't know if they have the name on them. 3D Luxury Lashes Reusable 10 Plus Wears. Insta Famous. Don't know the names of these ones, if they have names. 
they're really cute. I love the packaging. Like, come on. Come on. So, again, I don't have eyelash glue. <laughs> Maybe I'll get some real quick. Um, so I can try these out. Should have thought of that. But they did give me an applicator, which is cool. Stick it on her. This is cool. Oh, I want applicator. Okay. It's really cute. I like that. Their packaging is nice. Like everything looks really cute. <gasps> I wanted one of these so bad. This is so cute. So this is their holographic lip gloss. For best results, dab, don't swipe. Try her fave dry down lippy for a more intense finish. Well, I don't have one of those, I'm sorry. <gasps> this, is, this is cool, this is cool. But this is so cute. Okay, look at that. You can't not love that. Like, it's so pretty. The color, it looks holographic, but we'll test that out. Let's see what that looks like. Oh my God. So this is plastic, which is good because I'll break it if it's not. <gasps> that is so cool. This looks very soft. Let's see if I can like, <gasps> what? So I'm swiping it on my hand just because it's my hand, it's not my lip. But, oh my god, that looks so interesting. Look at that. It's really pretty. Wow. Okay, I like that. And last but not least, they gave me prismatic, pr prismatic pigment. Okay. And it looks to be green. It's this little cute thing. Thing, if I can open it and not break anything. Okay. Oh, so this is, I have to be very careful. That's, that's all we're doing. <laughs> so it's like this green color and like, ooh, you won't be able to see that on camera. It's super like shiny and green, which like, oh, <gasps> that's really cool. But like, Wow, that's really pretty. Okay, I like that. Wow. <gasps> that's so cool. I'm gonna have to use that. So it's all that came in the box. So they do sell an eyeshadow palette, which didn't come in here, which is like perfectly fine. I love everything I got. And, um, but they gave me this like prism color thingy. It's like green color, so I'll, I will use that. Um, I have to figure out the whole eyelash thing because I'm a mess and I don't have glue. Um, okay, so yeah, in total I got the lip stuff. I got three sets of eyelashes. I got this cool color thing. I got the eyelash applicator, which I don't have, so that's good. And all these brushes, which they're freaking gorgeous. Um, so I didn't get their most expensive mystery box. I'll list somewhere in here, um, how much this one was. They had another box that was more expensive. Um, this probably just like the actual like palette and there are just more stuff. Um, but I kind of wanted to get something that wasn't the super cheapest, but something like in the middle to get a good gauge of like what would be in here. I'm gonna use what I have again um, from them. So like I'll be able to like tell you about these brushes, which I'm so excited about. I was really hoping I'd get brushes from them. And thankfully these are all like things I don't have. So that's good. Um, and I'll let you know about these lashes. I'm so excited about this lip gloss. I was hoping to get it, even though I can't really wear it right now because of COVID and the masks, but I'll get to work for you guys. <laughs> so, and this like really cool green, like even now I'm touching it and it seems like once you place it, it doesn't really move, which is nice. Like that's not something that happens very often. So that'll be fun. So I'm going to go ahead and get what I need to from my supply and I'll be right back. Okay, cool. I'm back. 
So, for the sake of the video, I went out and bought lash glue, so I'm going to be able to try one of those pairs for y'all, let you know how they work out. So off camera, I did just like foundation, concealer, primer, not in that order, <laughs> obviously not in that order. I did primer, concealer, foundation, and then my eyebrows, since none of that was, was, since none of that <laughs> was included in the mystery box, I just really want to focus on their products and any other products I use here for that aren't theirs, I'm not going to be like talking extensively about just because I want to really focus on Unicorn Cosmetics and what they have to offer. Eyes, yes. So I get to use their brushes. So cute and exciting. So, first I'm going to start with an eye primer. I'm using the e.l.f. Putty Primer. Um, this isn't one of their eye primers, which I would recommend more than this. It's just their matte putty primer. This is just what was left, and I've tried it on my eyes already, and I like it. If I'm not using the right primer, my eyeshadow <laughs> tends to crease. But anyway, so I'm just going to put some primer on my eyes. This is the Class of 86 Eye Brush Set. That's what I'd gotten. It retails for $32, so already I'm getting way more than, um, I don't know if you can hear that, I'm sorry. So I'm already getting more than I paid for, which is really cool. So let's see, is it going to tell me which is which? No, it just has a bunch of pictures, so I'm just going to use them how I feel because I don't know. I'm going to use this one. Um, this is one of their smaller fluffy ones. This is a nice little view of those bristles. They're super cute. The little horn. So I'm going to use this one. And I'm going to dip into this pink one in here. So I'm just using the Urban Decay Wired Palette. And I'm going to use, it says for face and body, but I'm going to use it on my eye. I know you're not supposed to do that, but I'm going to do it. So I'm going to use that pink one. Ooh, that really gets a lot on there. Okay. So I'm going to use that pink color and then just see which one looks better. This one's better lit. So I'm going to go ahead and put that right there. Just blend it out. Yeah, just like that. See, so I'm really just placing it where I want it, and then I'm using the brush to blend it out. So far, I like them because they're not. A lot of the brushes that I have are so much more um, fluffy rather than dense, whereas this is like a perfect combination. So it's easy for me to blend out, but also not too dense. Wait fluffy enough for me to blend but not too fluffy where it's hard to like place something or it just like gets lost you know okay voila that's pretty but i'm gonna use a slightly smaller one whichever one this one is um and i'm gonna grab this purple color i have right here i'm gonna grab that and put that one in the crease. So just really like getting it in there, blending it. And I'm gonna follow the line I created with this pink one and go out a little like that. Swoopity swoop, doop. But yeah, sorry again, guys, for, like, the lack of energy. I just, like, I started work again, and it's just been, like, a lot from, like, doing nothing for months to, like, being on my feet for hours. But nothing I can't handle, you know? So this is what I'm going to do. Perfect. Just put a little bit more here. Okay. All right. I am actually going to take 
my primer again, um, but only a little bit because you don't want to pack on too much of that. And I'm going to use, I want to say this one is for that. So I'm going to use this with my primer, this like longer flat brush that I got here. So just putting a little bit of primer on it, just a little bit, so that I can like cut the crease here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Get a nice clean line with it. I'm actually going to get a little bit more purple and put a little bit more and blend it up so you could see it better. So, yeah, just like that. Perfect. Okay, so now that I got that shape that I want, so I'm going to take that little, the little one that I used for the purple again and clean that brush off real quick. And then I'm going to take this bright blue I have right there. I'm going to go ahead and take that. And I'm just going to like sweep it right here. See, just like that. And I'm going to do that and then just sort of slowly go inwards. There we go. Something very unicorny, you know, when you use all the colors. Trying to make this look as, like, unicorn cosmetics-esque as possible. And I'm just going to keep packing that in to really get, like, that electric blue color. Alright. There we go. Okay, and any mess I get there, I'm just gonna clean it up with, um, I'm gonna clean it up with my sponge and just sort of like do that to get that nice straight edge type of look. So I'm gonna keep using that same brush. I'm not gonna clean it though, um, since I plan on putting the the green on there. I'm gonna use the green in here and sort of blend it into that blue to create like a more of like a blue green color so no need to really clean it since i'm blending it in anyway that's what i'm gonna do i'm just sort of yeah just like that then i'm really gonna bring it out as well with the blue at the corner just kind of take that up like that I'm noticing definitely a difference with using these brushes because it's easier for me to get like the shape I want without creating such a mess that my sh that my other <laughs> brushes create. So I'm going to go ahead and just keep doing that like that nice little point that I'm getting at the end. It's definitely hard to achieve with my other brushes. So there's already a plus there. Well, now that I got that nice blue green color, I'm going to take not that one. Where's that other little flat brush? Did I use it? I didn't use it. I'm going to take this little baby flat brush, this one. Um, sorry, hold on. There you go. I'm going to take this flat brush and I'm going to dip into this powder they sent me. Now with this, I noticed it when I first opened it. I have to be really careful because it's not a packed powder. It's a very loose powder. So if you get this, like, don't just, like, go ham and open it. Be careful. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to make a mess. So I'm just dipping into that, just like that. I'm going to go ahead and put that right there. Oh, wow. Yep. There it is. And it's here to live the life that it wants. <laughs> I 
It's very bright. I didn't expect that. Ooh, wow, I like that a lot. So I'm just slowly packing it on because I want to get the most out of this color. So. Going to blend it a little into that blue-green color I created. Just to kind of make it all connect. There we go, like that. That looks really cool. Just like that. That's really pretty. I'm actually, you know what, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna take more of this green from my Urban Decay palette and I'm gonna just really put that in that corner just to create a darker shade. There we go, that's kind of what I wanted. Like that shininess, that's what I wanted to get in there. There we go. No, because I wasn't careful. You guys probably see I have a little bit of fallout right there. What I'm going to do, I'm actually going to take one of the fluffy brushes they gave me, like this really big one. I think this one's meant for contour. I'm just going to go ahead and swipe that off because I did set my face. So with the setting powder. Okay. And then I'm going to take my sponge and just kind of like do this and worst case like if that ever happens to you you could just take a little bit of your concealer like that just a couple dots like nothing crazy you don't want to like make it cakey or anything and then just dab it like that just to clean it up a little um this is why typically if you're like me and you're a mess <laughs> you want to do the um your face after you do the eyeshadow so you don't mess up your foundation but just for the sake of saving time and for not um uh focusing too much on my other products that i'm using i just did it first and let's see for i think i'm gonna use yeah i'm gonna use eyeliner i'm gonna go ahead i think no wait so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the green one first. And I'm going to go ahead and do the wing part. So I'm going to follow the shape I already created with my eyeshadow. And then I'm going to come in just to where like the blue green color is. See if I can't make that pop. Just like that. Because I don't want it to like take away from the look too much. It's just more of to help add shape to my eye. So, it's okay if it's not that dark. There we go. Just like that. This way, it kind of looks like the green I have um, on the inner corner of my eye, and it looks like it's just kind of moving into the rest of the eye look, if I make any sense. I don't know if I make any sense right now. So it's kind of like, I'm switching it. You'll see. You'll see. You'll see. It's fine. Um, so now I'm going to take the blue one, and I'm going to do the inner part of my eye. So just right. It's a very dark blue, too. It almost looks black, so... I don't know how well it's gonna show. I have to get really close so I can see. Blind as a bat. There we go, just like that. And then I'm going to take the green again to blend it a little bit better. Yeah. 
Yeah, I like that. I'm trying to make sure you guys can see what I'm doing there. There we go. There we go. And I'm gonna take that flat brush again and just kind of fix that green I messed up in the front here. There we go. Pretty happy with that, pretty happy. So next I'm gonna take it's really cool angled brush right here this one I think they intended for like liner like if you have a liquid liner which like I'm obviously using these liquid pen liners so I don't really need a brush um, unless I'm doing it with like one of my shadows but I am gonna use it and I'm gonna grab this blue color I used for that corner so I'm putting a little bit on the edge there and I'm just gonna go ahead and line my bottom lash line with it. Just like that. Then I'm going to grab the fluffy brush I used for like the pink part. And I'm going to put pink there. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I'm going to start with the purple. I'm putting purple there first. It's a little bit of purple and I'm just going to Get close to the lash line and blend it with the blue a little. Just like that. And then I'm going to take the pink and smoke it out a little bit more, a little bit lower. Just like that. A little cotton candy princess. There we go. So I'm using the little fluffy brush that I got to put some of this yellow color, this like yellow green color right there. I'm going to put that on the inner corner of my eye. So just and really blend it. Just so, like you want it to be a pop of color but you don't want it to just look like a circle of pigment and then like nothing, you know, so you want to make sure you do blend that out as well in the inner corner. There we go. Sorry, I'm doing weird angles because of like the way my lights are set up. I did it weird, so like I need to make sure I can see. Okay. Just like that. And that is the eye look that I'm going for. So I'm going to go ahead and do my other eye and then I'll be right back. Okay, I'm finally back. So basically I just did the other eye threw on some mascara. I finished off my face um, since I'm not using products from them. So next I'm going to do lashes and I decided to go with this one. Um, again, I don't see a name on the box if they're named differently. Okay, okay. I can do this. I, I can do this. These feel nice. They feel very sturdy. We like sturdy. Okay. Let me make sure these are going to fit my eyes. Sorry, I'm just figuring out my life. We'll just we'll just do it. You always want to make sure lashes you buy are gonna fix. Sometimes they are really long. Um, I think I'm gonna keep them the length that they are. Yeah, they look like they'll be fine. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep them. Let's hope for the best, guys. Okay. Um, yeah, oh wow, yeah, that's on. Why was I so afraid of this? <laughs> I mean, now that they're on, I could tell I might need to cut a little off. Um, just because when I blink, I feel it on the inner corner. But... Seems like that might just be a problem for future Melanie. Well, that's too late. <laughs> but I do like it. It looks super cute. But uh, I am going to take a little bit 
bit off of the other one now that I know. And I'm learning. <laughs> that makes me so sad. Hey, like, I feel, I feel good. I feel good about this. I, I did a good job. Not completely incapable as I thought. Get that one on. Yeah. That fit is a lot better. This is so weird, seeing my eyelashes like this. I feel like, um, you know, that like when people have Mini Coopers, they're just any car, I guess, and they buy those like eyelashes that go on the headlights. That's what I feel like. Super fabulous, though. Damn. My eyes are red from oh, the pressure. I feel like it's going to take a while before I build the confidence to really pull them off, but... There we go. I'm just gonna use, um, I think they're both NYX. Yeah, NYX, NYX. Um, this one, it looks kind of like a red color, probably, on camera. But with my skin tone, it definitely comes out as more of a nude. And this is kind of, yeah. Use <laughs> this cute little unicorn lip gloss. Uh, what does it say? Holo Moonshine. Beautiful. So the package had said dab, not swipe. We'll see if I can listen. So. Oh, that's so cool. I can't help it. I have to swipe. <laughs> Ooh, that's so pretty. I don't know how they do that. Mm. This looks really pretty in person. I could really hope it comes across on camera, but it, it is super pretty. I do like it a lot. I'm not usually one for lip glosses, but this is so pretty. Like, and by itself, I'm sure it's great. Like, if I had put it on my lips without anything, I bet it would have looked even better. final thoughts I actually really like this company their products are really nice like their brushes are great quality these lashes are really cute like all of their lashes that I've seen online too are like really nice I'm so excited about this uh, lip gloss it's <laughs> so cute everything was really nice I look forward to actually buying like an eyeshadow palette I saw on their Instagram the other day that they're actually going to be coming out with a Halloween eyeshadow palette. So maybe when that drops, I'll buy it and then I can share that. That way you guys can know what their um, formulas are like for the eyeshadows. But so far, everything here is great and they seem like a good company and a very small company too. They said that they only have like a team of four. But anyway, so I really like this idea of like getting products or like if they offer mystery boxes, like getting mystery boxes from uh, smaller companies and then I can do like little reviews and like little makeup looks with them on this channel. So if there's any you guys have heard of that you're interested in seeing or you're wondering um, what their products are like but you're afraid to like buy it, just let me know and I would be more than willing to like look into it. If it's something expensive, maybe I'll purchase like one item. <laughs> um, just because, again, I'm not exactly rolling in money here, so... <laughs> again, I'll list everything on on the bottom, and I'll let you know, like, what I paid versus, like, how much everything actually costs. Um, so I, I would definitely check out that company. They're very good. Um, even though it shipped from the UK, it came to me pretty quickly. Uh, so really, I have nothing to complain at all about this. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if there's any other um, companies you'd like to see that I can do. And thanks again for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Hasta la pasta.